in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Isaiah's Song of Thanksgiving for God's Salvation Prayer of Isaiah, Isaiah 12, 1-6 In that day you will say, I will praise you, Lord. Although you were angry with me, your anger has turned away and you have comforted me. Surely God is my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, is my strength and my defense, he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. In that day you will say, give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done, and proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. A Reflection Isaiah's Song of Thanksgiving for God's Salvation is a profound declaration of gratitude and joy in response to God's deliverance and compassion. The prayer captures a deep-seated recognition of God's mercy and the transformative power of His saving grace. Isaiah opens his prayer with a personal acknowledgement of God's previous anger, which has now turned to comfort and reassurance. This change from divine wrath to comfort highlights the cyclical nature of God's relationship with his people, characterized by correction followed by restoration. Isaiah uses this personal experience of salvation to affirm his trust in God, declaring him as his strength, defense, and salvation. The imagery of drawing water from the wells of salvation in verse 3 symbolizes the continual and abundant provision of God's blessings and grace. It reflects the spiritual refreshment and joy that comes from God's deliverance. As the prayer progresses, Isaiah calls for communal praise and recognition of God's deeds. He urges the proclamation of God's works to the nations, emphasizing the importance of witnessing to God's glory and exalted name. The call to sing and shout for joy reflects a communal celebration of God's faithfulness and mighty acts. Isaiah concludes with a powerful exhortation for the people of Zion to rejoice loudly, a fitting response to the presence of the Holy One of Israel among them. This culminates in a collective acknowledgement of God's greatness and his close relationship with his people. This reflection invites us to consider our own experiences of God's salvation and how they transform our relationship with Him and our perspective on life. Isaiah's prayer encourages us to respond to God's deliverance with public thanksgiving and joy, and to share the story of His mercy and power with others. It challenges us to trust in God's strength and to draw continuously from the spiritual resources He provides, thereby sustaining our journey and witness. Isaiah's song serves as a powerful reminder of the joy and communal celebration that should characterize our response to God's continual presence and activity in our lives. It calls us to both personal faith and corporate worship, blending our individual experiences of God's salvation into the larger story of His work among His people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.